Hello everybody, this is Leonardo. And we I have with me today Makaya Makaya So and Edward and other people, but yeah. And continuing so. on we are going to hopefully plug in the ports we also I think have a video the coming up. Anyways, continuing on. And is it a cutscene? Yes. Change. The Liberation Army's sweeping victory seems to signal a turn in the war for day in. However, General Jared uses his superior numbers to harry the group and threaten their fragile momentum. Benyan has fortified its army with weapons and supplies bought with funds stolen from day in. Benyon has also purchased the swords of a vast number of mercenaries from these same stolen funds. The Liberation Army does not want for willing fighters of its own. However, most are old men and inexperienced boys whose passion far outstrips their skill. Like Edward. The Liberation Army has no choice. It must bolster its ranks if it is to meet Benyon on equal terms. Its only hope lies locked in Benyon's prison camps, where Dayin's former soldiers await their rescue. Chapter 7, A Gathering of Hope. Ooh. And how many chapters are there again, Foxtrot? In this part, um, the epilogue is in uh, three chapters. Wait, this is just the epilogue? No, the epilogue of this chapter... I mean, no, yeah, anyways. Ahem! The General Staff of Officers of Day and Liberation Army allow me to outline my latest strategy. Excuse me, but shouldn't Prince Bellas be here? He's like the one who put this together? There's no need to distract the Prince with the, new, with the war's petty details. He won't be coming to any more meetings. Oh, dang done! From now on, consider my words the prince's own. But he was our financial advisor in our restaurant business. I'm not sure that's, uh, that's... Quiet, your restaurant business will go down the hill and down the sink if you don't what? do your stuff correctly this time around. <laughs> Enough idle chatter, though. Come have a glance at my purities. My purdies. <laughs> purdies. <laughs> Our next target shall be Amun. Among all of the work camps, it is one of the largest. Ah, I see. Um, is this gonna be hard? Go away, Where's Edward, my... before I stab you with my black magic. Please, I'm immortal against fools like you, ellipses. Wanna test that? No, not really, period. I happen to be a very big... Spoiler alert. Anyways. <laughs> Conditions within the prison camps are harsh. If we were able to save the prisoners, every moment matters. One of the largest work camps. Can our forces handle that? Such a trivial concern. And one of my perfound genius has already addressed. Behold, this lake next to the camp. That provides fresh water to all there. Into this lake, we shall dump a deadly toxic of my own design. Then we will sit back as the enemy slowly dies. What about all the fishies? <laughs> they die as well. Poison is executed be vile. I will agree to no such plan. The fish must be what, saved. What, what? What was that? You, you, how dare you question my plan? Consider a state of exotic mental meditation. No matter how much God the enemy may be, we must fight with compassion and consideration for the innocent. And fish. The fish must be harmed. She's right. Poison doesn't discriminate. The prisoners would die too. And any nearby villages would be affected. Your plan is severely flawed, and then what would happen? People would doubt us, question our cause, maybe even side against us. And it would 
cast a stain on my perplexion and Prince Peleus's name, don't you think? Fine then, do as you like. And when you find yourself utterly defeated, you can come crawling back to me. Nobody ever come back to you, you ugly scumbag. My apologies yeah. to both of you. Leonard Edward, I will end you myself if you keep interrupting these meetings. Get lost. When Lord Lucky <laughs> so gets excited, we can lose all sight of reason. I apologize to some fish deserve to die, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> Technical issues, we'll be back in a bit, I guess. Fuck. No! We're back. Hello, everybody, we are back, and sorry <laughs> about that. We had connection details. AT&T. Slowing us down. I apologize. You need to, you need need to, to apologize. You are in the right. We should... We should, would never condemn the use of poison. However, this does mean we must um, advise another pen if we are to have any hope of victory. Yes, you're right. I love victory. In that case, what do you think of this strategy? We set a plate of waffles under a box, and then as the people go running the towards it, we pull the string. And then the box My. falls on them. My god, that's brilliant! Okay, only one conversation this time, and it's with Pegasus. Pelagus. How the hell did I sort of call you here like this? Forgive me. It's quite alright. I mean, as long as Soth's here, wait, where's Soth? Dong Gung, can I pour you some tea? Or is there something else you would prefer? I want some Starbucks. But thank you. What did you want to speak with me about? I know you are angry with me. Please, forgive me. Can you say anything else but that? But also, can you tell me why you stopped showing up at our meetings? I need our financial advisor there. It was at Zuku's request. I have no idea why he asked me to do it, though. That thing's a he? I know it was an ugly she-bag. And you're the leader of this army. You cannot simply leave all the decisions to someone else. Especially that scum. Back. I'm sorry. I'll ask Azuka before the next meeting. I need his permission to attend. Like a dog needs his permission to cattle the sheep. What and the I... sheep of the sheep. You're the prince. Why should you need any man's permission, much less than your own advisors? Question mark? Well, you see, yes, I am the prince, but I owe much to Izuka. So much so, I'm practically his, um, never mind. He taught me everything I needed to know. Except to get rid of your accent. Member. What? Except get rid of your accent, apparently. Oh, well, I'm a family of the royal family. He contacted Tarion... Toriano, Toriano, and all of the senators from Dayon to help. Without his power and influence, I would have never mustered an army or met my own mother. I'd be like a fly with no rock. The fuck! Feet. Not again! My God, what's wrong with you? Everything! Yay! Technical difficulties. We'll be back. Sorry guys, we're Nothing. back. We had a bit of technical issues, and we're all here. We are again. Yay! So, <clears throat> nonetheless, we're continuing. Without his power and influence, I would have never mustered an army or even met my own dear sweet mother. I see. You were alone. That doesn't sound too good. Pardon? I mean, no one was there to make you waffles, and and then Izuka reunited with your mother, <coughs> gave you a place to stay, and provided you with a reason to live. And your mother didn't give you that. And now you feel you owe him a debt of gratitude for ending your loneliness. And that's not good, because he's a meanie, and he's really bad at doing things, and that is why you try to do as you're told, as Izuka wishes. 
So yeah. Okay, Mikaya, you you're Yes, I know. I'm growing quite fast. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That was inappropriate. You're amazing! <laughs> I can't take that seriously at all. Amazing! 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 You really can read minds. I'm simply amazed. You saw right through me like a cow sees through milk. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't think I understand this. <laughs> what? I got too excited. Look at me. I'm sweating like a pig in a hot Sunday morning in April. Prince <laughs> Pelias. 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 What is it? Why you look at me like that? That mark. And that body. Oh, that. What is it? It's called the Spirit Protection. The source of all magic in this world is tied to the power of these spirits. When you make a pact with such a spirit, its power manifests on your body like this. So you're just a host to the spirit. You're like a parasect with the mushrooms controlling the parasect. Don howdy. Oh, I see. What am I saying? You already know all this, of course. You have the spirit's protection, too. So I'm a parasect? What? I saw you washing your hands the other day. Stalker. Oh, what a creeper. Stalker. Fucking weirdo. When I walked up to you to say hello, I saw the mark on your right hand. You saw... the mark? I thought of confiding in you right away, but my mother called for me. I didn't get a chance to tell you until now. Do you think this mark is really the spirit's protection? By the way, it's not. Wow. Oh, you didn't enter into the pack yourself? No. Just no. I see. So it must have been the spirit who wished to make a pact with you. Pardon? I mean, I know everyone might want to make some kind of pact with me, but I didn't expect the spirit to. It's a very rare phenomena. Phenomenon. Can you read it, Alexander? It's phenomenon. No, I'm sorry. Didn't learn that much in school. With that kind of vocabulary, I don't know what school. Usually, it happens to the little infants who have an exponential talent for magic. You truly are amazing, Makaya. I don't know about that. Let's keep this among ourselves. We don't want people to confuse us with the branded, like people confuse the chickens for the cows. What are the branded and I'm pretty sure no one confuses those two. I'm pretty sure it, uh, they refer to Beric, who have the goose blood in their veins, and I meant roosters. Roosters are confused with chickens. That makes I know sense. it's hard to imagine someone with the blood of a sub-human running through their veins. Anyway, I've been terribly mistreated by people like a dog's been mistreated by his owner with a shotgun. Who thought I was one of the branded? What the heck? <laughs> I don't think I understand. Micaiah? Micaiah's branded. What do you want, you freak? Oh, sorry. I think I understand more about you now. And about the marks, be sure. 
except that you I don't, don't think know. I want to hang around you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I was able to tell you. I'm surprised you didn't know. Come talk to me again sometime. I don't know if I want to do that, but okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I wanted to give you this. Uh, what is it? It's this splendid sword I recently acquired. It gives its wheel wielder the upper hand in battle. Keep it, or give it to whomever you like. Bitch! You shouldn't give it to me, because I use magic! I don't need your pitiful swords! No, I wouldn't want the soldiers thinking I'm giving anyone special treatment like a dog thinks he's get his owner's giving the cat a special treatment. It would be inappropriate. That's what Azuka says anyway. So I think you should do it. I need to pause real quick. Okay. We'll see you guys in a sec. <coughs> and we're back. Hi. I understand you must have so much on your mind, considering I don't want to talk to you. Indeed. I long for the old days when I was poor but had few worries and just was sitting on hay, tending to my cows and sheep. Prince Pelleas... But I'll keep fighting. I won't stop until Dan is free once more like butter's free on a cow. Mm. Here, here. We got the brave sword. Ooh, brave sword. Yay. And for the rest of our little base menu, I'm going to cut it out. See you all in a bit.